Yeah, good afternoon, it's Charlie ZL2 CTM. Well, I just wanted to put a video up today to, to talk about what I'd like to do and what I am intending to do over the next uh, few months over winter uh, in and around several business trips that I have, which is going to be taking me uh, in and out of the shack. Um, the main effort that I do want to do, um, and I'll do these in parallel, one, I want to uh, transfer this particular rig here, this this um, 80 40 meter rig that works really really well, so I'm, I'm reluctant to uh, to pull it apart. Um, but I'm going to transfer that into this case up here. It's a um, it's an old FRG7 case. Uh, it came to me uh, in essentially in bits. It'd been out in the garage for a long long time, and the circuit boards were corroded. There was a um, I think it's some kind of wasp's nest at the back, made out of clay. So I had to chisel that out and clean it all up but um, like I say I'm, I'm going to transfer this radio all into here uh, I'm going to pick up on, on as many switches as I can obviously the band switch there uh, I'm thinking about this attenuator will be more probably the the RF amplifier uh, it's a DX so it's on or local it's off I'll think about that but right, volume controls mode controls obviously power um, this fine tune button here I've already put a, um, a, a, a a six position switch in there which will be the tuning step rate for the uh, for the rotary encoder um, and I'll probably add in some lights up here which will indicate which particular band we're on but anyway suffice to say looking to reuse as many of these buttons as I can uh, just to to make this radio down here um, a little bit sort of uh, long term in terms of uh, transferring into a, into a case now the second thing I'm going to do in parallel with doing that is I want to leverage off some of the really good points of this radio uh, into uh, an 80, 40 and 20 meter uh, phasing rig. Um, it'll, be, it'll be phasing in terms of uh, SDR, so have an analog front end, so just to sort of look at what will be going on here. Um, the plan will be to have uh, an analog front end here which will be set up as a direct conversion receiver to present to the TNC here uh, in phase and quadrature audio frequencies um, which will then be manipulated and eventually sent out uh, through the speaker and then conversely uh, on transmit, same thing, bring the audio in, do some DSP on it and then feed it out as analog uh, in phase and quadrature audio and then feed it back through the direct conversion um, receiver on, on transmit. So audio in and we'll get some RF coming out. Um, the plan, so, if, so in terms of leveraging off this, um, uh, I, I want to use the SBL1s. Um, I think they've, they worked particularly well and uh, so I'm going to use those again. Um, I'm also going to use the filtering here. So you recall that conversation and some experiments we did with uh, filtering the output of the SI5351 to essentially convert uh, what are square waves coming out of the SI5351 into uh, sine waves and then I'll use that to, um, to as the local, local oscillator source for the, the two SBL1s. Uh, in terms of the, the S, say again, the SI5351 uh, in terms of producing the in phase and quadrature local oscillator frequencies for the two mixes, I'm going to uh, continue on with an experiment we were playing around with uh, some time ago, which was um, having the SI5351 generate the in phase and quadrature signals directly uh, and not having an external. Uh, flip-flop type arrangement here to produce those in phase and quadrature. So I'm just scoping the two outputs now and that's a uh, that's what was essentially seeing well, what we are seeing up there on the uh, the scope. So that's the in phase and quadrature. That's down at uh, 3.02 megs which is uh, essentially as low I can, as low as I can go and then just winding it up and um, that's you know that's rock so I've got to uh, 9, 10, 12 14 and up and up we go so that's certainly um, nice and solid there so it'll be you know the intent will be to to um, filter those turn them back into um, nice sine waves and then use those 
the in-phase and quadrature there to uh, drive the two SPL1s to produce the in-phase and quadrature um, audio. Um, coming out of those two, uh, two mixes, um, I don't intend to do any filtering on the output of those. I'll keep that as, as, as wide a bandwidth as I possibly can in audio. Uh, and then do any kind of bandwidth uh, manipulation in digital here, um, potentially down here after it's been uh, the, the, either the upper or the lower sidebands been recovered and then muck around with the audio bandwidth at that point in time. So like I say, no filtering at all coming out of those two amplifiers. So again, mixes, it will go straight in. Um, so that's the second project I want to work on. And uh, and then after that, you know, there's some other ideas which have been on the to-do list for quite some time. You know, things like audible SWR meters, um, potentially look at a um, an automatic tuner, uh, and the like. So anyway, that was just a a quick video just to talk about um, what I want to do and what I intend to do, um, and and just I guess to say that uh, I've got several trips, so productivity is not going to be overly high, but. The intent will certainly be to uh, to continue putting information up onto the blog, uh, continue to make videos where I can for, for people's interests. Um, I hope that's okay, but that's certainly going to be the plan. Anyway, I'll, um, I'll say 73s and uh, do a little more noodling, and like I say, um, when I can make stuff and do stuff, I'll, um, I'll put it on up. Anyway, I'll say 73s, and uh, we shall see you shortly. Cheers all.